Hello Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me, my fellow Virgos. Virgo is my rising sign, so this is definitely something I'm interested in right now. I know that's right. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Also, I am available for private readings, um, and all of the readings that I have listed in the description box can be applied to any sort of situation that you come across that you need some greater clarity on. It does not have to be a twin flame relationship. It doesn't have to be a even a romantic relationship. It could be anything. It's all interchangeable, yeah? So let's get into this for you, Virgo. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Virgo during this time period of April 15th, 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's get into this, guys. Oh, I just want to tell you a, a quick, a quick coincidence. Well, a funny little thing. I've been shuffling, blah, 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 and I finally felt like the cards were ready. And of course, the cards were ready because here is the Queen of Pentacles right on the bottom of the deck. There you are, Virgo. So you're showing up for your reading. I love it. Let's get into this, yeah? Virgo, April 15th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. I am adding Venus into the channel for information because Venus rules our, our love life. So there could be some messages of love coming through because, you know, we all, we all want to be loved. So might as well add it to the channel. Yeah. All right, Virgo. I'm going to give you one more shuffle for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what we have for us here. Yes. Okay. Overall energy for this time period, we have the Five of Wands. So I like to call this the peanut gallery card. Yeah. Too many cooks in the kitchen and not enough to do. Um, everyone's trying to control things. Everyone's trying to give their two cents in. This could be your energy too, Virgo. You may be in a period where, um, you know, you're trying to be advice uh, or you're trying to give advice um, on a situation and I'm not picking up, I'm picking up that it's not necessarily all that um, sought after. Um, you know, as Virgos, we tend to be, we're very opinionated and we will tell them, we will tell people what our, you know, give people our opinions, even if they're, they weren't exactly solicited. <laughs> um, but this is really only us for a select few of you. And I don't want you to get anything twisted. It's not like, I mean, you're doing it from a place of love for the most part, but you know, it's just, it may just not really be wanted at the moment. So this could be an effect of the Mercury in retrograde, um, just kind of screwing with you. Granted, you know, for this time period, we have left this Mercury in retrograde. It ends on the 15th, but we will still feel the energies um, for a few days after. Okay, but overall, um, there are, there uh, for others of you, there are a bunch of people that are trying to, you know, put their two cents in. You know, the comments from the peanut gallery um, trying to give you advice on your life when they don't really know what's going on or they don't have the, um, the vision to understand what's really happening for you personally. I resonate with this completely. And, you know, I have a lot of friends that I've been trying to talk to about, you know, my love life and this twin flame situation, but they just don't get it. And there's nothing wrong. It's nothing against them. It's just they're not on the journey. And you won't really understand what's going on around you unless you're walking this path yourself. Okay, so... It's really, it's not that bad. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is good. You're coming out of this mental entrapment, feeling trapped. Um, and this is an effect of coming out of the Mercury in retrograde. I know for a fact for my life, it really, I felt so mentally trapped. Like I was stuck up in my head this whole time and just exhausted and everything. But we're coming out of that. So it's a really good thing. And then we also have the Two of Cups in reverse. And finally, we have the fool, okay? So the fool is saying here, you know, taking that leap of faith, moving forward, jumping forward. Um, 
with the two of cups in reverse, it's like, and especially connected with the five of wands, um, a lot, if you've been experiencing some troubles in your relationship, like say with a soulmate or um, maybe with family members or friends or something, um, a lot of it has to do with relying on the opinions of others in order to um, make your decisions for your life. And um, that also puts you in an Eight of Swords energy where you feel like you're trapped. Thankfully, the Eight of Swords is in reverse. So you're coming out of that. You're starting to see the value in your own opinion for the direction of your life versus the opinion of others. Um, Virgo has a tendency to be a people pleaser. Um, I get that totally. I can be that way very much so. But then my my Virgo is my uh, Virgo is rising for me, so it's a little less. I have some other energies like my Leo Sun and my Taurus. I'm sorry, my Leo Moon and my Taurus Sun that kind of help balance that out for me. But it's say if you're a Virgo Sun, people pleasing is kind of your thing on a greater scale. Um, but now you're starting to see with the Five of Wands and the, and the Two of Cups in reverse, you're starting to see just how much the opinions of others have have affected your life and have also been a detriment not only to your connection with um, whoever this symbolizes. It could be a soulmate. It could be your twin flame. Um, it could just be someone that you have a very deep, loving, romantic connection with. Um, but you're seeing how the opinions of others have helped you disconnect from this person, remain disconnected from this person, but not only that, remain disconnected from yourself and your truth and authenticity. Yeah, so this is kind of a beautiful thing here. Um, and actually, Mercury in retrograde has really helped bring this to the forefront for you because some things may have come up from your past that now, with all that you've been through lately, you, you're able to see it from a different perspective. And so ultimately, throughout all of this, we're already seven minutes in and I haven't gotten past the, the, the overall energy yet, but this is, a, this is a, a big and deep message. Overall, all of this is helping you reach the fool, okay? There's going to be some sort of leap of faith that you're either going to take, um, you're planning taking, or you're just, you're, you're, seriously thinking about it now. If you're not, if you don't necessarily reach the planning stage throughout this two week period of the 15th to the 31st, you're at least seriously contemplating it. Like the fool is up right here. So this is, you know, this is serious. You're really looking at it now. And that's excellent. All right, finally, let's get into the storyline here. We have the four of wands in reverse with temperance in reverse. So, Something needs to be rebuilt rebuilt here. Um, you know, there is, there's still some, some resistance. Uh, Virgo, you know, with the Four of Wands here, and this is in relation to the Two of Cups, you know, you know who this person is to you. It, well, whatever this symbolizes for you. Um, and this is mainly in reverse. And, oh, okay, well, here, I'll, I'll do this first. You know who this person is to you because we have temperance here and we have the four of wands. So we're definitely, in most cases, we're talking about a twin flame situation, okay? Um, we're, at least if it's not a twin flame, it's a soulmate. It's someone that you really have a serious, strong, and deep connection with. And you're aware of it, okay? But these are in reverse. You're in resistance to it because you've got all this shit from the peanut gallery running through your head. All right. Thankfully, this is not the five of swords. It's the five of wands. But at the same time, it's still affecting you. It's still swaying you. And you really, Virgo, you got to learn to live your life for you. <laughs> All right. You got to live your life for you. Because if you're not living your life for you, you're living everyone else's life. And you damn sure did not come down to this crazy messed up planet to live life for others. You know what I mean? Like you have your own path. You have your own path that you're here to walk. You have to let, you have to stop letting people sway you off that path because you will continually find yourself in this eight of swords energy if you do. Luckily, you're starting to see that now. So you're coming out of it. But so this is not necessarily saying this is what you're, this is what you're embodying right now. This is what you're coming to terms with. This is what you're realizing. You're realizing that, you know, you are out of balance within yourself and you do have to rebuild this foundation that you know is for you, but you're realizing this because you're seeing just how much the opinions of others and the influence of others has affected you, okay? Moving forward, we have 
the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right. With, yeah, with the sun. So here's the deal. You have been very successful in your life, Virgo. Um, you have been able to um, reach what is thought to be the Ten of Pentacles. What you thought was your ultimate material financial fulfillment. Um, you know, living the good life, having living the dream is what I'm hearing. But now you're seeing, ooh, maybe that wasn't such the dream actually. Maybe there is a lot about that that was just not right for me. And I'm finally starting to see that, says Virgo. Okay, great. The sun is shining. As soon as the Ten of Pentacles came out, the first thing I thought of was releasing this old old life, this old lifestyle, these old habits. Um, finally letting that go and seeing the sun parting through the clouds that you may not have necessarily even realized were there this whole time. This this clouded atmosphere, smoky atmosphere, not really being, being able to see clearly, but you thought that was just the way it was, so you rolled with it. That's always, it's been how it's been, you know, forever, and so you just rolled with it. 11-11 on the counter. Um, but um, now the sun is starting peak to peak through the clouds, and you're like, oh, I get it. <laughs> I see. I see where my influences have been coming from now, okay? Moving forward, we have... The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, all right, with the Six of Wands in reverse. So, um, you've been hiding, Virgo, you've been hiding behind a lot of work, um, a lot of studying. Um, and you have, and it's not like you've been really studying anything that's going to be of benefit for you. I mean, it's not like learning something new isn't bad. Like, Virgo loves to learn, so there's that. But, in this case, you've been learning. You've been using learning as an escape, and with the six of wands in reverse, you've been, you know, putting on a show like everything's okay. When in reality, everything is not okay. You have been diving too deep into work instead in the physical plane instead of diving into the work that would needed to be done within the spiritual, within yourself, to bring balance, or like that's represented here by temperance. Okay. Um, and you got to stop that. I mean, you don't have to. But if you really want, if you really want change to come to your life, you have to start working in the non-physical. You got to work, start working on, on on yourself on a soul level, not just working to build your pentacles, like the ten of pentacles here. And I, I feel like, and the sun is still saying, yeah, you're seeing that now. You're seeing how you've been using um, work. Uh, I'm hearing a workaholic as a form of escapism. Look, babe, you can run and run and run as much as you want, but <laughs> you're never going to escape it. Janet Jackson says it, says it really well in the Velvet Rope album. It's one of the last songs. Um, she says, you can't run away from your fear because wherever you run, there you will be. You have to learn to water your spiritual garden. Then you will be free, right? So instead of watering this garden of materialism that's represented here by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you have to now start watering your spirit, your soul. Um, start doing the... Th wow, remember the time just started playing in my head. Michael Jackson, remember the time. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> you have to start learning to feed your soul um, with the things that really inspire you. And yes... The, the work you have been diving into, Virgo, right now has been in relation to things that you are passionate about. So it has been giving you a release, but it's coming to a point where you're neglecting, you're putting on this face, making everyone think that everything is okay, when in reality, those that really know you, those that are really connected with you know everything is not okay, all right? And I don't say that to mean like it's dire. It's just like we know something is up and we're trying to help you, but you're resisting. But anyway, moving forward, we have strength. Yes, that's what I like to see, Virgo, with the five of swords. <laughs> okay, so Virgo, where is this strength really being directed? Now, strength is not reversed. It's upright. And so that is a good sign. Um, with the Five of Swords, it's not... The Five of Swords worries me a little bit when I see it in connection with strength. But because neither of these are reversed, I'm seeing that um, you're having the strength to stand up to whatever this... Um, 
to stand up to this ego battle. And again, the five of swords is um, much like the five of wands here. Um, but in this case, it's, it's a bit more dangerous, okay? Because more damage can be done. And this is not, and this could be physical damage. This could be physical fights, knockdown, drag out fights, brawls, um, ego battles and all that. But also on a spiritual level, on a deeper level, on a heart level, this is much more dangerous, much more detrimental. But what I'm picking up for you, Virgo, is that you're having the strength to stand up to this energy and um, this twisted masculine energy is, is a lot, especially the way this card is depicted in this deck. This is like twisted masculine energy to a T, okay? But you, Virgo, are having the strength to stand up to it, to fight back, but not fight back in a physical, to fight back in a non-physical sense is what I just heard. To fight back on an emotional level and be like, you know what? I'm not even going to give my energy to that anymore. I am literally going to take myself, pick myself up and walk away from this. Because in, because normally this energy would be like, what, what, you're going to walk away from me? You're a fucking pussy. And it's like, no, actually I'm not. I'm the stronger one here. I'm the stronger one here because I know this is a losing battle and I'm just going to walk away with my integrity intact. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Woo. All right, Virgo, moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles with the Magician. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. This is, this is such a good sign. This is a good omen. Virgo, you are stepping up. You are stepping into your power. If I'm speaking to divine masculines here, you are really stepping into your masculine power and you are working now on manifesting that which is of your greatest, highest good, but then also true to Virgo form, you are um, manifesting that which would be in best service to those around you, though there's those that you care about, those that you're here to serve. For Divine Feminines, you are doing the same thing. However, you've been doing this for some time, Divine Feminine. You have really been integrating with your masculine energies and doing the damn thing, doing what it is that you know you need to do to keep your life intact, to keep you on your path, to keep you on your soul, soul mission, to keep you good. You're really good. And for those of you um, now stepping out of the Twin Flame situation, those of you that have really come to realize the um, ickiness of that Ten of Pentacles that's reversed here, whatever it is that's symbolizing for you, whatever material reality this is symbolizing for you, you are now taking your power back. You're taking responsibility for what you find in your physical reality, and you're working on changing that. You're working on manifesting better. This is great. I love seeing this here for you, Virgo. This is so... So, so wonderful. And to be quite honest, regardless of, of, of gender, this is really just energy, but this is you showing up right here, Virgo, in the King of Pentacles. You're showing up as your earth sign. Regardless of gender, this is literally just energy. You are showing up. Can I get a hot amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Moving forward, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, cycles are coming to an end and it's upright, so you're not in resistance to it. That's fantastic. With the Ten of Wands. Yes. And this is talking about your people pleasing aspect. You are really starting to come to terms with the fact that the more you try to please those around you and do things to make the, pe the people around you happy, the more burdened you become. The more you have to carry, the heavier and heavier and heavier the load gets. And eventually, it's going to break you, right? But luckily, you're starting to see that before this break um, becomes too detrimental. And it's right underneath the sun, the 10 of pentacles in reverse. You're seeing the negativity of your, of the, the detriment of the physical reality you have manifested for yourself. And now you are ready to release, or you're at least getting ready to release these burdens and do what it is you want to do. Like I literally see the, the, um, ropes that this man is attached to snapping and all of that force that he had trying to carry this 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 um, pyramid it's such an impossible thing to think about too this one person is trying to carry this pyramid now is it a full it looks like it's a whole it's a whole fucking pyramid guys it's not even just like single stones to no it's the whole damn period like pyramid come on 
How unrealistic is that? Like, that's ridiculous. But see, I see those uh, those ropes snapping and all of that force he was using to carry that, py that pyramid for everyone else is now force that he can use to propel himself forward. Right? Excellent. Moving forward, Virgo, we have, ah, the devil in reverse. And I like seeing the devil in reverse because already I'm feeling like you're releasing this devil energy. And what is that de devil energy? People pleasing. Ooh -wee. With the hierophant in reverse. So there is a bit of, of um, energy. For some of you, there is some resistance to it. Now you're releasing the devil energy, but it's like you're almost in conflict with who you are, um, with the messages that are coming through. What I'm picking up here is as you're releasing this attachment to the devil energy, you are losing, in a, in a way, <clears throat> you're losing a sense of yourself, okay? Um, but this is not necessarily a bad thing. This actually is a good thing because you've been so attached to this devil energy that it did, you did allow it to be somewhat of your, a, a piece of your identity. You're kind of feeling a little bit lost about who you truly are. But in all honesty, having the hierophant here, even though it's reversed, you're, there's some a blockage to it. Having it here in general is a good thing because this inner guru of yours is around working on rebuilding this identity for you. So um, the advice here is as you release this devil energy, um, really focus on the sense of self that you still have so that you can keep that connection with yourself so that you can help to rebuild this part of yourself that is being released. Yeah. And to be quite honest, it really was never a part of you. This was, a, this was pieces of other people that you have taken on for whatever reason. This could be fam. This is family. This is friends, whatever this is. I'm really getting that this is a lot of your life. This is your whole life up until this period now. It's like this large section of yourself that you thought was you, but in reality, it was just the energies of others, of the people you were trying to please and do right by, in a sense. 22, 22 on the counter. Wow. Um, and um, so as this is released, now you have the space to fill this with who you actually are instead of who other people have made you out to be. Finally, for you, Virgo, here you are again. Now, this is actually your card, the Hermit, um, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, this, this might be a little bit of a struggle for you. Um, huh. I want to go back a second because... What I was also getting, the Hierophant is also a Taurus card, okay? If we're talking in the form, in the in the guise of Zodiac signs within the, um, within the Tarot. Um, and I will go back and say that uh, strength is Leo, okay? So there may be a Leo in your life that you're fighting with, have been fighting with. There may be a Taurus in your life. I'm a Taurus. Um, and then here's you, Virgo. Um with the hermit, yeah, with the hermit. Um, there may be someone in your life that you kind of view as the devil, or at least you viewed as the devil in the past. Um, I'm going back because I was really feeling drawn to say this, and I didn't know why until the hermit came out. Um, and now I know why, because... You know, there may be someone around you. It could be a, a, a could be another earth sign. It could be a Taurus, or it could just be someone that is seen as a very um, wise person, but the devil has helped you to twist this view of them in your life. Um, but that's changing now. That's just for a small section of you. But overall, for Virgo, the devil and the Hierophant in reverse is talking about um, removing this attachment and finding your inner self. And then we get to the Hermit, which is literally going within and figuring these things out. Now, the Two of Pentacles is in reverse here because this it's, it, it's going to feel almost impossible to balance this stuff out. Um, and... It, 
it's not, there is a bit of resistance just because you don't see how you can ever balance this out now. Like I'm picking up that a lot of, a lot of you will be questioning or saying to yourselves, like, how do I maintain these relationships with other people that are really, really dear to me while still um, finding myself? And you're kind of afraid, you feel this energy of like, well, now I, I feel like I'm going to lose some people and I don't want to lose these people. This is why I've been living in this way for so long so far, because these people like, you know, they've, they've been in my life for so long or they've meant so much to me. And to be quite honest with you, this is why the two of pentacles is in reverse because you need to realize that in order to remain balanced, you have to balance out your relationships too. And if there are people in your life that are, um, that are throwing you off balance because they don't have your best interests interests in mind, well, then maybe you should not be afraid of losing them. Maybe they're really not someone that you should have in your life. But now the other thing that the two of pentacles is saying in conjunction with the hermit, this is a message that's coming from your higher self. That's actually been trying to get to you for some time. Um, but it's the two of pentacles in reverse in conjunction with the hierophant. I'm sorry. The hermit is saying to you, you got to take some responsibility for where you find yourself, Virgo. The only reason these people have been able to create, help you create this reality that you're now finding that you have to get yourself out of is because you've allowed them to, okay? you It's not like they came in and just, you know, put, a, for lack of a better term, put a gun to your head and said, you're going to do this now. No, this is for the most part a learned process. It did start with your family. Um, and so, yeah, okay, that I get. But as you move forward in your life and you start to build more and more relationships with people that you come into contact with, you know, you have put yourself in a position to allow them to manipulate you like this, to allow them to put their two cents in and then you take it as verbatim or as doctrine or a dogma and you're just like, okay, well, this is how it's going to be and not really choosing for yourself. But now, and, I, and I'm saying that to, not to, to judge you or to come down on you, but it's now you have the opportunity to right that wrong to bring this balance to yourself, okay? So the hermit is asking you to look within and see how things have been imbalanced for you. And that will help you get a sense, that will absolutely help you gain a greater sense of who you truly are versus who other the, the image others have projected onto you because now you're seeing what you would need to have in your life to bring balance, to bring ultimate balance to yourself towards happiness, yeah? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because we're 27 minutes in. This was a long video. There was a lot to say. But Virgo, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, much love to you all. And I will see you guys for the beginning of May coming up soon in like two weeks. Okay, love you guys. Um, again, if you want a personal reading, you can just go ahead and, re and email me. Yeah, I'll speak with you soon. Bye.